Hi guys, welcome Hi. back to our channel. Today we have an amazing meal. And I can't wait. You can see. I'm ready. She's ready. You should use those. No, I'm not gonna use those. I don't like. You those. should show them. I got special chopsticks. Thanks to my. Sister. I like them, but it gives me like a headache or yeah, no, because they're, really they're way too neon. I got Star Wars chopsticks. You don't. I do. Thanks to my sister for that gift from Christmas. Birthday? I don't even know. I think it was birthday. I know she gave it to me. I got more. They come in different colors. They're really cool. <laughs> but we're gonna use this because they're easy to use. Yes. And we got a whole array of dumplings right here. We got pork and vegetable dumplings, kimchi dumplings, spicy pork and vegetable Korean dumplings. Yes. Pork and vegetable wontons, some kimchi ramen, and just because yeah, I wanted some chicken, some chicken wing. Korean fried chicken from our favorite place, Bonchon. Yes! So, oh, we can forget about this. We got our sauces right here. Some dipping and sauce, sriracha, sriracha right here. and some pickled radish. We got water, she got water, I got my chopstick. And we're ready! We're ready to eat. So, let's start this. I'm going for the spicy pork first, because, just because. Mmm. That was really, which one is this one? The hot pork and vegetable one. Huh? Ooh, it's good. Mmm. Mmm. Spicy? It's a little spicy. Oh, it got the noodles in it. The cellophane Oh, one. yes. You know, the clear noodles. So good. Let me try this one. Mmm. It's spicy, but it's not killing me. I mean, Duh. for you. We should. Mmm. Some pickle radish. Can I use that? Pull my eye out. Would you change? No. She's jealous. Because I got a special chopstick. She does too, but she likes mine now. And I just got these. One of these. Right here. Really good. With the sauce. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Ah. Mm -mm. I just broke myself. Oh, yeah. This is really good. This one is good. Mm, mm, mm. So, so you can see, I fried these with some of the kimchi that has pan fried both the spicy pork and the other half of the kimchi dumpling. And then we just boil these, some kimchi ramen, and the fried chicken is, yes, yeah, not my thing. They got it, we got it. So I'm gonna go right ahead. Go ahead. With my hands. Mm, mm, mm. I'm having some type of problem up and that never happens but <laughs> it looks like it dried up on you. <laughs> it's okay, I'll help you up. Should I, I add it more water? It's okay. I made mean, this. How about you use your plate? Right here. And I'll help you up with it. You see the struggle right now? Dude, just take the whole thing. My plate is here. Look at this. <laughs> just take the whole thing. Okay. I don't know what just happened. That was kind of a fail. <laughs> They're still good though. Try them. They're really good. Oh, oh. Mmm. Kimchi ramen. Yep. And we have a trick with the kimchi ramen. It is. Either it's too spicy sometimes, and we just add some a little bit of sugar. Mm -hmm. And it helps. It's spicy, but and some you nice have that. vinegar. Ooh. Yep, and it goes with it. It doesn't matter. So today we're gonna talk about a show that this girl right here has me watching since this quarantine started. She always watched it. Yeah, and I don't I just know why. It just because. I don't yeah. know why I like these type of reality shows and but this one is totally different. So the show we're talking we're gonna start talking about is 90 Day Fiance or before the 90 Day Fiance. So it's basically people from United States that they fell in love with somebody online through the computer or 
through the phone with somebody from um, Africa or Russia, somebody that basically need. Um, They're looking for love. Yes. <laughs> I, I feel like you do it just like. <laughs> so, here's the thing. In my family, we all like the dramas. We all like reality shows. And this season, he has drama. A lot. I've seen it before, but this season is just a whole nother game. Mm -hmm. I never seen something like it, but it was fun. It is fun. It's, it's coming to an end. Actually, it ended, next. It ended already. It's going to end next week, something like that. Mm -hmm. And it's quite interesting how how the, people can just trust in the internet and the web and dating sites just like that without knowing them. Knowing them, but no calling. You don't know their voice. You don't know FaceTime or anything. You just trust them and texting and whatever they send you. A message. lot of these couple, they just text or they just talk through um, a website and they don't even talk on the phone or through a webcam, like nothing. And they just fell in love, not knowing them physically or hearing their voice or nothing. And they don't even know if they're being catfish or not. So that's the thing that I, I, could, I couldn't do it. Me either. For me personally, I need to see the person. But if I give you my number, you gotta be real. I gotta see it. I call you and hear your voice. Mm -hmm. But nowadays, you know, with technology, there's automated voice thingy. True. Sure. Yeah. But it's super interesting how people just, if you watch the show or if you watch Catfish to the other show, mm -hmm. which is basically the same thing. Just this one's a little bit more further down the road because yeah. they stay with a couple of couples and then throughout the season, you see how their relationship is going to develop. If it's fake, is it real? A lot of them, they end up getting married. Uh, a few of them, they end up getting like real and they end up getting married and having kids and they're still together. Yeah. But at least, at least 70% of these couple are fake are fake or they don't work out. They get married and then they get divorced in a few months or in a year and it just doesn't work out. So basically 90 days, it means that when one of these sides bring the other people from the from the other country to the United States or vice versa, you have 90 days to get married. Within those 90 days, you have to prepare everything and get married. If if you don't get married in those in that type of like, actually that's period before the 90 days. The 90 days is how long it takes for the visa and everything. No, no. The the visa takes longer. It can take years. Mm. So that's if true. you bring the people, I just came into the show. She's the one. That if was, you I bring, don't know what I'm saying. if you bring the per, the person to the United States or to your country, you have 90 days to get married. If you don't get married in that type of time, um, basically you have to go back. So, here's the thing. It's funny. I don't feel bad. I feel bad for some of the people because. It's a reality show, but you, you can see it's real and most, most of the couple mm -hmm. stick together. But this season just took it to a whole nother level. We're not talking about one couple right now. David Ooh. and Lana. Oh my God. So if you've seen the show, you know who's David and who's Lana. Lana's from Russia. David lives in Las Vegas. He's 64 years old. Mm -hmm. She's 28. <sighs> He's been on a website, dating website with her for, for seven, seven years. years. Not only that, let's count their numbers down. That's seven years of the pay for the website. Five tries in looking for her in Russia. Mm -hmm. So they can meet each other. About a hundred thousand, over a hundred thousand dollars spent on the website mm -hmm. and on her. Mm -hmm. And he's 64 and she's 28. Which is nothing bad. Hey, love is love. Oh, love is love. But then again, it's a lot. She's in Russia, he's in Las Vegas. Here's the thing, they never done FaceTiming. 
or, or talk through the phone. Oh, talk through the phone. It's all texting through the website for seven years. And you have the thing is that you have to pay to use the website that this guy is using. So imagine how many thousands of dollars he has spent throughout the seven years that they've been speaking together. Like, and he still thought that she was real and technically she was. Here's how, how luck works. I don't know if he's, well, we know he's, he said on the, on the show that he felt alone for a long time. Mm -hmm. So, but he believed in that, in that love for seven years. Look, if you ever seen those websites, if you ever been on one, or just go through it myself, I gone through it because I like how, it, I, I want to know how it works. And recently watching the show, I did it. I went through it, I didn't sign up. It's okay, I didn't sign up. I just went through it, I looked for information on how those website works. And works dating websites. If you, they got people working for them sometimes, or it's actual people just going on the website, I wanna meet this, meet somebody, and then they get together. But sometimes there's actual people inside that work for the company, and then they're just looking for people to basically just grab them and keep them for the longest, for a long term, because you can, you're basically taking money from them. They're paying for your things, they're paying for their membership. That's profit for the company. And so, what we find out is. So they get paid to be on the website? Some of them, yeah, they do. What? That's why they were saying in the show that she's a scam. And you're gonna see on the reunion next week that he says that she's back on the dating website. And that's when I told you, because I looked this up. When people get married on dating websites. You get paid? Uh, that's how dating websites make out, make out a lot of profits. Because you actually, the couples that are going on the, day, on the mm -hmm. dating sites are actually going through the whole process. They meet each other, they fall in love, they fall in love, and then they get married. And then you just register that on the website. And, and that's you get the money. But you gotta, this is a fee that you gotta pay on their when you get married and all that. So I was reading something that it says about 300, $300 million are made a year for just people getting married on dating websites. Now here's the thing. Those That's are a the lot. Those are the legit websites that mm -hmm. are actual people meeting but there's a lot other. of them. But on websites, mm -hmm. they always said that there's the scam websites. Mm -hmm such as the one that Lana is in, that looks like she's in, which she gets paid for meeting people. She actually met the guy after four years, five years, five tries, seven years and five, five tries. tries. And the fifth try on the show, they actually met each other. But here's the thing, she always had an excuse and then they met, he was in Russia. He went for, to Russia two times, to Ukraine no, no. actually, two times in a row. And his thing, she met him for only, he was there for eight days on the second try. They only six, on so the last, like two days. on the fifth year, on the second try of the fifth year, he was there for eight days and he only, they only met for two days. And that's including the, when he left on the airport, mm -hmm. which, spoiler alert, he proposed. And she said yes. And she said yes. But here's the whole thing. On the reunion, they gave a spoiler, a little spoiler that she was back on the dating websites. That's why I look up the information that if you get paid for getting married. And apparently you do on websites and some websites, which are basically scams websites, you actually can, if you get somebody to propose to you, then your pay goes up and then you get a fee for that because you got proposed, and then you just move on. Now, if I'm right or not, hey, I'm just saying, I looked it up. I don't know if it's real or not. Allegedly, that's how it works. But it's it's. I, that's why I got caught up into the show because it's so. It's not bad. I don't want to call people dumb. <laughs> but it's that how you keep your hope on love when you don't even know the person. And the thing you is that mo see them. most of them. And then again, I stop eating. I don't know why. <laughs> most of them have a lot of red flags that they don't like see and understand they think that's normal or they believe their excuses 
for not talking through the phone or website or just Mm-hmm. This spicy pork. Mm. It's good. Delicious. It's so good. Mm. Mm. So me personally, I don't like sides. No tender, no mashed up carb, no e hammered harmony. None of them. And especially this nowadays you can just catfish anybody. Mm -hmm. It's super easy. Make up a fake profile and just keep the conversation going. Mm -hmm. And for me, if I'm meeting somebody and within a week I don't hear your voice or I see your face, now I, well, now I, I'm, I'm done. Because I know you're probably not real. If you're real, I know I get, I get it. Some people are shy. You cannot pressure that. But mm -hmm. I'm not gonna go through seven years of this. You mean I gotta stop my life for seven years? Mm -hmm. Mm. Another thing. He is how, how old? 64? Yeah, I She's 28 and he's retired. He's planning to go back home, sell everything, and leave in an RV. I mean, I will leave in an RV so I can travel around. United States or on other states and everything, but I don't think she have that mind, or if she knows that he has that plan. So, for me personally, look, I get it. You get an RV, you travel the country, whatever. People are different. You can it can surprise you. Mm -hmm. But me, if I was twenty eight, I met somebody on sixty four. Uh, I'm sorry, but I'm basically doing it for money. And I wouldn't do that. 28 years old, living in an RV with a retired person for the whole night. Like, basically, till the die, you get married and everything. That's not like, I'm not saying you're wasting your time. Love is love. You can find it. Everybody's different. That's just my opinion. I wouldn't do it. I wouldn't do it either. I, yeah, you travel the country and everything, but it's like, doesn't make sense. Give it up, everything. Mm. And then giving up everything because you don't know nothing from here. She's probably moving. She barely knows English. Yeah, they they talk they talk through a uh, like a translator through the phone. That's yes. how they communicate. In the last episode, he bought a phone for her because he wanted to communicate. So to communicate apart from the website. All this time, she already had an iPhone. You tell me. I don't understand. Mm -hmm. This shit is so good. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Between the chicken and the spicy porks? Which one you like more? Spicy pork. <laughs> You see all over my face. Oh, it's good. Probably about some pickle radish. So, if you have watched the show, tell us what you think about it, or who's your favorite couple. Yeah, because we got Davy and Lana. We already told you about them. Mm -hmm. It's quite interesting how it turns out. He actually proposed. He said yes. But you can see she's uncomfortable with the whole situation. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I don't uh, think I don't think personally that is isn't gonna work. I don't think it's gonna work. I mean, I could be wrong, but I don't think it's gonna work. Talking about my brother, <laughs> but it's so good. Hey, the past couple of months, I don't know what happened. One day we ate dumplings, and mm, 
we started watching Asian shows and Asian food channels here on YouTube. Yeah. And we just started trying out everything. Went to a local, a local Asian market. Mm -hmm. Yeah. This is almost every time. That's when we lost. We have it. our fridge full of dumping packs and ramen. And ramen. I wish, I wish we had a lot of fried chicken. But yeah. Now we gotta talk another couple from the show. Which one? Yes, I, I wanna. I will talk about all of them, but we gotta talk about two. Steph. No. William and Dolanda. Oh my god. <laughs> Try to tell them about that one. I can tell them. So, this lady, I mean, it's funny, but it's sad at the same time because she believed in him so, so bad. But there's, no, such, there's a chance of like 98% that he's a catfish. Like, there's no doubt. They have never talked through the phone. Oh, wait, I think they talk on the phone. I don't remember that part. I don't remember if they took through the phone, but he has his Instagram. And all of a sudden, one day, his Instagram went down for hours. And all of a sudden, he comes back again with another name, another like description. And he says that he was from another country. And it's like, and after that, he didn't respond her text messages. So, so it's, here's what happened. Catfish, if you ever watch this show, this shadow, you should thank her on your show and help her out. Please, me, if you you need to. This here's what happened. She got online. Look, um. She got online. She lost a lot of weight. She got mm -hmm. pretty, everything. And she started looking for a man. Hey, that happens. But here's the thing. He met, he, she met him on online on Instagram. And all the pictures that he had uh, was like, working out. this working out guy, strong guy from England, super buff and everything. But Usually, if you see Instagram, you know a fake account where it has like a few, like two posts maybe. And a hundred of. But a few posts, but a whole lot of followers. Mm -hmm. And then you go on Google and do image search, reverse image search. You can find out if it's real or not. Mm -hmm. Here's the thing. His, her daughter and her son did that. And it was like a stock photo all over Google, all over the internet. She, she met, but all this time she can't believe it. He was real. They only text each other about what they were doing and anything. And all of a sudden, she disappeared. Another name came up on this on the Instagram, like she said. Mm -hmm. uh, they sent her an uh, email asking for money. Well, they had nudes and everything. It was a it's a whole mess. And then, randomly, this friend. Which name I'm not gonna say on the, <laughs> from the show because the name was uh, it's awful. Came up saying that he got hacked or something like that. Look, that's so many red flags. Doesn't that tell you that he's fake? And then all of a sudden, days later, he came back up on her phone saying Say that his sorry. family died, this and that. But still, we don't. We never. That is the end of the show, and he's never pop back up. They gotta reveal all the info from the private investigator on the reunion. Yeah, this Sunday. And she still believes he's real because she's in love. And I get it that you're in love, but there's a lot of red flags in this relationship. Like, don't you see that he's fake and you're being catfish? No, we never know. We saw Lana and David. I know, but but, I don't know. I don't. I don't want to be mean. But it happened. I truly believe she's been captured. Mm -hmm. She's innocent, lady. And I feel bad because you should never, you should never catfish anybody. No. 
That's you not just right. be mean and taking money from people or whatever. But we're gonna find out this weekend what's gonna happen with them. Cause it's actually funny. For me, it's funny. I laugh at it. I like cause I would never go through all that work for somebody. Yeah, I would talk online, but I gotta give you a call and you gotta FaceTime me or something. And I and I gotta know you. Mm -hmm. That's what happened with us. That like we went to the same school and everything, and then she moved to New York and I stayed back home for in Puerto Rico. And but we connected through basically Twitter, and then we followed text message, and then we started calling each other. But I knew her. Yeah, we're and we're still each together. Other. What six years after? But still love you. But at the same time, I would never do that. Look, I'm not gonna go through all that work. Like, I, you're not calling me? Okay, then this is done because I don't know who you are. You're probably just scamming me. If you ask me for money from the beginning, that's. That's definitely a block. And I've seen it a lot of times. And mm -hmm. I I experienced that. And I, me and my friends, it was. Look, I'm gonna, I'm gonna tell you. We had a girl pop up on our Facebook one time on my friends. For like five of my friends and me included. And she was like saying a lot of things and we just texted each other. We're like, do you have this girl on you? Yeah, and we just laughed it up. We just cracked up laughing. <laughs> we basically, we answered her everything. Did she respond? And she responded, she kept she responding, did? but it was a fake. We were just laughing it up. Then at the end, literally like half an hour later, we just told her, we know you're fake, babe. Bis, or whatever. <laughs> Bis. <laughs> but yeah that has never happened to me it has happened a couple of times i know who's real i know who's not so now you know about that we have fun eating that was a lot of food mm -hmm. probably gonna eat this later because i'm not like gonna let it waste mm -hmm. i hope you guys like this <laughs> This topic right there about 90 Days Fiance. And, and you then, haven't watched it, just try it. Just try it out. It's so funny. I tried it out with her and it's hilarious. I liked it. We sit down every Sunday just to watch it. Especially now that we're at home all the time. It's so funny. You're gonna like it. Make sure to like our channel, like our videos. And subscribe. Share, subscribe, comment. <sighs> yeah, that's it. See you guys later. Bye. Bye.